Section 1 of The Dream of Durantius. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Russ Hobbs. The Dream of Durantius by John Henry Newman. Section 1. Phase 1. Durantius. Jesu Maria, I am near to death, and thou art calling me, I know it now. Not by the token of this faltering breath, this chill at heart, this dampness on my brow. Jesu, have mercy. Mary, pray for me. Tis this new feeling, never felt before. Be with me, Lord, in my extremity. That I am going that i am no more tis this strange innermost abandonment lover of souls great god i look to thee this emptying out of each constituent and natural force by which i come to be pray for me o oh my friends a visitant is knocking his dire summons at my door the like of whom to scare me and to daunt has never, never come to me before. Tis death, O oh, loving friends, your prayers, tis he, as though my very being had given way, as though I was no more a substance now, and could fall back on naught to be my stay. Help, loving Lord, thou my soul, refuge thou, and turn no whither, but must needs decay and drop from out this universal frame into that shapeless scopeless blank abyss that utter nothingness of which i came this is it that has come to pass in me o oh, horror this it is my dearest this so pray for me my friends who have not strength to pray assistance Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Holy Mary, pray for him, All holy angels, pray for him, Choirs of the righteous, pray for him, Holy Abraham, pray for him, Saint John Baptist, Saint Joseph, pray for him, Saint Peter, Saint Paul, Saint Andrew, St. John, all apostles, all evangelists, pray for him, all holy disciples of the Lord, pray for him, all holy innocents, pray for him, all holy martyrs, all holy confessors, all holy hermits, all holy virgins, all ye saints of God, pray for him. Gerontius Rouse thee, my fainting soul, and play the man, And through such waning span of life and thought As still has to be trod, prepare to meet thy God. And while the storm of that bewilderment Is for a season spent, And ere afresh the ruin on thee fall, Use well the interval. Assistance Be merciful, be gracious, spare him, Lord. Be merciful, be gracious, Lord, deliver him from the sins that are past, from thy frown and thine ire, from the perils of dying, from any complying with sin or denying his God or relying on self at the last, from the nethermost fire, from all that is evil, from power of the devil, thy servant deliver for once and for ever by thy birth and by thy cross rescue him from endless loss by thy death and burial save him from a final fall by thy rising from the tomb by thy mounting up above by the spirit's gracious love save him in the day of doom gerontius sanctus fortis Sanctus Deus, de profundis oro te, 
miserere jadux meus, parse mihi domini. Firmly I believe and truly God is three and God is one, and I next acknowledge duly manhood taken by the Son, and I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified, and each thought and deed unruly due to death as he has died, simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong, and thy love supremely, solely, him the holy, him the strong, Sanctus Fortis, Sanctus Deus, De Profundis, Orope, Miserere, Jedux Meus, Parse Mihi Domini, and I hold in veneration, for the love of him alone, Holy Church as his creation, and her teachings as his own, and I take with joy whatever now besets me pain or fear, and with a strong will I sever all the ties which bind me here. Adoration I be given, with and through the angelic host, to the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Sanctus Fortis, Sanctus Deus, De Profundis Orote, Miserere Jedux Meus, Mortis Indiscrimine. I can no more, for now it comes again that sense of ruin which is worse than pain, that masterful negation and collapse of all that makes me man, as though I bent over the dizzy brink of some sheer infinite descent, or worse, as though down, down for ever I was falling through the solid framework of created things, and needs must sink and sink into the vast abyss and cooler still a fierce and restless fright begins to fill the mansion of my soul and worse and worse some bodily form of ill floats on the wind with many a loathsome curse tainting the hallowed air and laughs and flaps its hideous wings and makes me wild with horror and dismay O oh, Jesu, help, pray for me, Mary, pray. Some angel, Jesu, such as came to thee in thine own agony. Mary, pray for me, Joseph, pray for me, Mary, pray for me. Assistance Rescue him, O oh Lord, in this his evil hour. As of old so many by thy gracious power. Amen. Enoch and Elias from the common doom amen noe from the waters in a saving home amen abraham from the abounding guilt of heathenness amen job from his multiform and fell distress amen isaac when his father's knife was raised to slay amen Lot from burning Sodom on its judgment day. Amen. Moses from the land of bondage and despair. Amen. Daniel from the hungry lions in their lair. Amen. And the children three amid the furnace flame. Amen. Chase Susanna from the slander and the shame. Amen. David from Goliath and the wrath of Saul. Amen. And the two apostles from their prison thrall. Amen. Thecla from her torments. Amen. So to show thy power, rescue this thy servant in his evil hour. Gerontius. Novissima ora est, and I fain would sleep. The pain has wearied me, into thy hands, O Lord, into thy hands. The Priest Proficisere anima cristiana de hoc mundo. Go forth upon thy journey, Christian soul. Go from this world. Go in the name of God, the omnipotent Father who created thee. 
go in the name of jesus christ our lord son of the living god who bled for thee go in the name of the holy spirit who hath been poured out on thee go in the name of angels and archangels in the name of thrones and dominations in the name of princedoms and of powers and in the name of cherubim and seraphim go forth go in the name of patriarchs and prophets and of apostles and evangelists of martyrs and confessors in the name of holy monks and hermits in the name of holy virgins and all saints of god both men and women go go on thy course and may thy place to-day be found in peace and may thy dwelling be the holy mount of zion through the same through christ our lord phase two soul of gerontius i went to sleep and now i am refreshed a strange refreshment for i feel in me an inexpressive lightness and a sense of freedom as i were at length myself and ne'er had been before how still it is i hear no more the busy beat of time no nor my fluttering breath nor struggling pulse nor does one moment differ from the next i had a dream yes some one softly said he's gone and then a sigh went round the room and then i surely heard a priestly voice cry subvenite and they knelt in prayer i seemed to hear him still but thin and low and fainter and more faint the accents come as at an ever-widening interval ah whence is this what is this severance this silence pours a solitariness into the very essence of my soul and the deep rest so soothing and so sweet hath something too of sternness and of pain for it drives back my thoughts upon their spring by a strange introversion and perforce i now begin to feed upon myself because i have naught else to feed upon am i alive or dead i am not dead but in the body still for i possess a sort of confidence which clings to me that each particular organ holds its place as heretofore combining with the rest into one symmetry that wraps me round and makes me man and surely i could move did i but will it every part of me and yet i cannot to my sense bring home by very trial that i have the power tis strange i cannot stir a hand or foot i cannot make my fingers or my lips by mutual pressure witness each to each nor by the eyelids instantaneous stroke assure myself i have a body still nor do i know my very attitude nor if i stand or lie or sit or kneel so much i know not knowing how i know that the vast universe where i have dwelt is quitting me or i am quitting it or i or it is rushing on the wings of light or lightning on an outward course and we e'en now are million miles apart yet is this peremptory severance wrought out in lengthening measurements of space which grow and multiply by speed and time or am i traversing infinity by endless subdivision hurrying back from finite towards infinitesimal thus dying out of the expansive world another marvel some one has me fast within his ample palm tis not a grasp such as they use on earth but all around 
over the surface of my subtle being as though i were a sphere and capable to be accosted thus a uniform and gentle pressure tells me i am not self-moving but borne forward on my way and hark i hear a singing yet in sooth i cannot of that music rightly say whether i hear or touch or taste the tones oh what a heart subduing melody angel my work is done my task is o'er and so i come taking it home for the crown is won alleluia for evermore my father gave in charge to me this child of earth e'en from its birth to serve and save alleluia and saved is he this child of clay to me was given to veer and train by sorrow and pain in the narrow way alleluia from earth to heaven soul it is a member of that family of wondrous beings who ere the worlds were made millions of ages back have stood around the throne of god he never has known sin but through those cycles all but infinite has had a strong and pure celestial life and bore to gaze on the unveiled face of god and drank from the eternal fount of truth and served him with a keen ecstatic love hark he begins again angel o lord how wonderful in depth and height but most in man how wonderful thou art with what a love what soft persuasive might victorious o'er the stubborn fleshly heart thy tale complete of saints thou dost provide to fill the thrones which angels lost through pride he lay a groveling babe upon the ground polluted in the blood of his first sire with his whole essence shattered and unsound and coiled around his heart a demon dire which was not of his nature but had skill to bind and form his opening mind to ill then was i sent from heaven to set right the balance in his soul of truth and sin and i have waged a long relentless fight resolved that death environed spirit to win which from its fallen state when all was lost had been repurchased at so dread a cost oh what a shifting party-coloured scene of hope and fear of triumph and dismay of recklessness and penitence has been the history of that dreary lifelong fray and oh the grace to nerve him and to lead how patient prompt and lavish at his need o oh, man strange composite of heaven and earth majesty dwarfed to baseness fragrant flower running to poisonous seed and seeming worth cloaking corruption weakness mastering power who never art so near to crime and shame as when thou hast achieved some deed of name how should ethereal natures comprehend a thing made up of spirit and of clay were we not tasked to nurse it and attend linked one to one throughout its mortal day more than the seraph in his height of place the angel guardian knows and loves the ransomed race soul now know i surely that i am at length out of the body had i part with earth i never could have drunk those accents in and not have worshipped as a god the voice that was so musical but now i am so whole of heart so calm so self-possessed with such a full content and with a sense so apprehensive and discriminant as no temptation can intoxicate nor have i even terror at the thought 
that I am clasped by such a saintliness. Angel All praise to him at whose sublime decree the last are first, the first become the last, by whom the suppliant prisoner is set free, by whom proud firstborns from their thrones are cast, who raises Mary to be queen of heaven, while Lucifer is left condemned and unforgiven. Phase 3 Soul I will address him. Mighty one, my lord, my guardian spirit, all hail. Angel All hail, my child. My child and brother, hail, what wouldst thou? Soul I would have nothing but to speak with thee, for speaking's sake. I wish to hold with thee conscious communion, though I fain would know a maze of things, were it but meet to ask, and not a curiousness. Angel You cannot now cherish a wish which ought not to be wished. Soul Then I will speak. I ever have believed that on the moment when the struggling soul quitted its mortal case, forthwith it fell under the awful presence of its God, there to be judged and sent to its own place. What lets me now from going to my Lord? Angel Thou art not let, but with extremest speed art hurrying to the just and holy judge, for scarcely art thou disembodied yet. Divide a moment as men measure time into its million, million, millionth part, yet even less than that the interval since thou didst leave the body. And the priest cried, Subvenite, and they fell to prayer. Nay, scarcely yet have they begun to pray. For spirits and men by different standards meet the less and greater in the flow of time. By sun and moon primeval ordinances, by stars which rise and set harmoniously, by the recurring seasons and the swing this way and that of the suspended rod precise and punctual, men divide the hours, equal, continuous, for their common use. Not so with us in the immaterial world, but intervals in their succession are measured by the living thought alone, and grow or wane with its intensity, and time is not a common property, but what is long is short, and swift is slow, and near is distant, as received and grasped by this mind and by that, and every one is standard of his own chronology, and memory lacks its natural resting points of years and centuries and periods. It is thy very energy of thought which keeps thee from thy God. Soul Dear angel, say, why have I now no fear at meeting him? Along my earthly life the thought of death and judgment was to me most terrible. I had it, I, before me, and I saw the judge severe e'en in the crucifix. Now that the hour is come, my fear is fled, and at this balance of my destiny, now close upon me, I can forward look with the serenest joy. Angel It is because, then thou didst fear, that now thou dost not fear. Thou hast forestalled the agony, and so for thee the bitterness of death is past, also because already in thy soul the judgment is begun, that day of doom, one and the same for the collected world, that solemn consummation for all flesh, is, in the case of each, anticipate upon his death, and, as the last great day in the particular judgment is rehearsed, so now, too, 
ere thou comest to the throne a presage falls upon thee as a ray straight from the judge expressive of thy lot that calm and joy uprising in thy soul is first fruit to thee of thy recompense and heaven begun end of section one